A few years back, we launched the Gao keyboard with Premiere Pro shortcuts for both Windows and Apple desktop users. But for those of you that use laptops like myself, this didn't really come in handy. That's why today I'm excited that we launched our MacBook Pro and MacBook Air gel covers with all the Premiere Pro shortcuts. I worked closely with my partner Editor's Keys to perfect the colors and the material. Now, I know a lot of you are Windows users, and I'm afraid to say that it was impossible to create this keyboard cover for the many variations of Windows computers out there. That's why we were able to focus on MacBook Pro and MacBook Air because they all have the same keyboard layout. So if you have a 16 inch or a 14 inch MacBook Pro M series from M1 to M4, or if you have a MacBook Air that's the 13 inch or 15 inch, they all have the same keyboard layout. So this keyboard cover will work for you if you have one of those models. So these gel covers have all the must know Premiere Pro shortcuts that you can quickly glance down to see and the texture of it just makes it nicer to type on your keyboard and it's a little bit quieter. Plus it protects your keyboard from any crumbs or other particles. Now I've put a link down below or you can go to premiergal.com covers to go get your cover today but I'm giving away two keyboard covers. So how do you enter? You need to like this video. You need to leave a comment down below this video that includes the word cover in it, can be any variation of that. And three, you need to fill out the form in the description box to enter so I have a way to contact you. The winners will be chosen at random using one of those internet generator thingies and you'll be notified by October 1st if you win. Okay, let's show the keyboard cover in action and a few of my favorite shortcuts. So I have my gel cover on. It's really easy to put on. You can just literally drape it over until it lays flat. And then it eventually it just starts to form its way around all of the keys really nicely. So a lot of these I have memorized, but on occasion I might forget a keyboard shortcut. And my favorite keyboard shortcut is N for the rolling edit, which you can find right here. So what this is useful for is if you wanna change the cut point between two clips, let's say you're doing a J or an L cut where you hear the audio of a clip before you see it. So for example here, I can actually zoom into the timeline using these controls here, the plus and the minus keys here on my cover, which is really useful. So I'm gonna press N and then I'm going to move this cut point. So I'm gonna move this over so you see my talking head sooner. And you can actually see the two clips here that are being manipulated. The video clip on the left and the one on the right is my talking head with the audio that we see beneath. So if I move this over, we see my talking head quicker. But Invato just announced. But if I wanna see this clip to the left for a longer period of time, I can just move this over just like that and play. Invato just announced that you can there we go, that's how easy it is. And now we can press V to go back to the selection tool and another keyboard shortcut that I love is by selecting the audio clip and pressing G to adjust the gain. So if my mic was recorded at a gain that's a little bit lower than I would have liked, then I can just increase the decibel by two if I need to or however many decibels is necessary to get it to the level that I need. You'll also notice that there are yellow keys with different functions. And this corresponds to using the shift key with that particular key at the same time. So if you have in and out points in your timeline and you wanna jump quickly to that out point, you can press shift O and it will take you to that out point. And this is useful if you need to check your out point before you export your video. And another really useful thing is let's say you wanna open up the effects panel, you can press shift seven, and it opens up the effects panel automatically. I've been using the Gal keyboard cover since April and I'm really excited for you to get it on your own computers as well. So if you're a MacBook Pro or MacBook Air user, you can go to premiergal.com covers to get your very own. And I'd love to see it on your setup. So upload any photos of your setup with the Gal keyboard cover and tag at premiere underscore gal and at editor's keys and yeah thank you so much for the support as you can see i'm in a new working studio space now that i've been putting together slowly it's still a work in progress but let me know what you think i'm thinking about painting the white 
uh, shelves here a darker color so that way it kind of blends in better with the background but yeah I still have a little bit more sound treatment to do um, I purchased some acoustic panels to make it just feel more like a, a studio space and yeah I'm really excited about it so more tutorials are coming soon uh, be sure to hit that subscribe notification so you're notified when those new tutorials are published thanks so much for watching and as always keep creating better video with gal bye Woo!